So this is a really quick tutorial. So you have a vector image in Illustrator that you want to put into SketchUp. But the minute you try to import it, well, you can't really read AI files and you probably don't want this as an image. And if you just export this as a DVX, then you get some weird fractation. So I'm going to take you through all the steps to get this shape into SketchUp without losing its uh, nice figure here. So the one thing you have to remember is that SketchUp is not vector based. It's based on polygons. So that means you have straight lines all the way. You don't have the curves here that you got here. So the first thing you want to do is to convert this into a shape that is easier for it to read. So if I go to the white arrow up here, you can see that we have one little point here on each curve. To make this into a more readable uh, situation for SketchUp, we need more points. So we go to Objects, Path, and then we go Add Anchor Points, which will add one more in between. And let's just do that a couple, couple of times. Add Anchor Points, Objects, Path, Add Anchor Points. So now we got a lot more points here, and then it will be easier for SketchUp to convert and keep its shape. You don't have to do a lot more than this, but that's about the extent of it. Then we go export as, and here you want to uh, select AutoCAD drawing or AutoCAD uh, interchange file. Now I like to use a DVG, and you can put that anywhere you like. I'm going to put it in downloads for now. And here you can select what kind of version you want it to be converted to. Anyone will work with SketchUp, so whatever you want. Scale one to one, which keeps it uh, to scale. If you have drawn it to scale, then it should remain scale. Press OK. Then we go to SketchUp, and then we go File, Import. You find the file again. Here in Download. You can go here to Options, and then you can uh, put on merge coupler faces or in faces import materials and preserve drawings but usually messing about with these things just doesn't really help much for me anyways so I'm just gonna press OK and import and then you get this import result don't worry about that just close it and there you have your shape now one thing to remember is that this is mostly lines right now because it has no fill so to fill this you just simply heal it by doing a line from one point to another and then you fill it and that was a quick little um, tutorial on how to import vectorized lines into SketchUp